believe. I think we're I think we're live. <laughs> Hi friends, Lindsay here for So Fancy. Um, oh, I've got a little friend. <laughs> this is Kitty. Um, she'll, she may be joining us today. But um, anyway, I am so glad that you're here um, because today we're talking about the hottest craft in the crafting world right now. It's these wooden, these round wooden signs, which um, are just so popular right now um, because they're absolutely gorgeous. There's so many things you can do with them. And um, we have actually now created our own round wood sign bundle filled with designs that are perfect to um, create these projects because um, I'm gonna go ahead and show you um, one that I created actually, um, I shared here on a live a uh, couple weeks ago, a few weeks ago. And um, what I've uh, done since is actually, um, we have gotten so many questions and so much interest in these um, wooden rounds about um, particularly how to um, attach like any bows or greenery and how to hang it um, that I've gone and um, created another one but this time double sided so you can see that that is an option too um, so you can maybe um, do a holiday on one side and then something for year round um, for on the other side so um, if you can hear me um, go ahead and say hi tell me where you're watching from um, that way I know um, you know this is all working I'm gonna go ahead and move the camera down so you can take a look at um, what um, we're working with so we'll just go ahead and flip this and then I need to spin it around and here we go I actually had to move my camera up um, because some of these rounds were so large um that i needed more space oh hi Catherine! thank you so much for watching i'm from south carolina and is it grandma uh from massachusetts hello hello all right so um this is the wood round that i created um and i shared here on the live um a few weeks ago and we had lots and lots of questions about it um, one of them, and we hear this a lot, is where do you get these wood rounds? Okay, so um, this was actually a IKEA Lazy Susan that I disassembled for another project that I didn't end up doing. So I had this wood round. Um, you can see here I didn't do anything from the back. Um, it, it had this, here's the IKEA label on it. it and I had this mechanism that it would spin. So it was, a, it was a Lazy Susan, and I disassembled it and had this piece, and I just painted the front of it, stained it, and made it into one of these signs. Um, and what I liked so much about doing it this way is that it's only like a half inch thick, so it's really, really lightweight. Um, so I actually went to Ikea, and I tried to pick up some more, and there, my Ikea is completely sold out of a lot of things. Um, so I wasn't able to um, get any more of these Lazy Susans. Um, but I did get a wood round from Home Depot. So I'll show you that in a second. Um, because what I've had this um, hanging up on my door. And I did that by uh, just, uh, what are these, staples? Um, the staple gun and um, some rope. Um, I'm not very good with the staple gun. <laughs> oh, hi, Jennifer. Um, Jennifer from North Carolina. Oh, we got um, North Carolina and South Carolina up in the house. All right, so um, I did use um, a staple gun <laughs> to connect the, uh, the hanging mechanism. And then what I do is I actually, uh, use floral wire to attach the bow and greenery. And that is a personal preference of mine because I <laughs> um, lovingly say about myself that I have bow commitment attachment phobia <laughs> because I love to be able to um, take uh, different greenery and different bows um, off 
if I change my stuff, you know, my home decor style or um, I don't know. So <laughs> I use some um, floral wire uh, to connect the bow and the screenery part, which I'll show you how I can how I put that together and then put that onto the wood sign on the back here. And I just connected it to this uh, hanging mechanism. I just uh, stapled a, a rope there. Um, so that's um, what I did for this one. So then um, I wanted to do something double-sided. If you've already done a wood sign double-sided, um, or if you've done um, a wood, one of these wood signs, let me know. Let us know where your trouble spots were, um, and if um, you know you have you have any helpful tips and tricks because uh, these are just so popular right now. Um, not only just for personal home decor, but I've been hearing that lots of people are selling these for the holidays. Um, okay, so <laughs> I went to Home Depot. And these are so popular that they were completely sold out of all of the wood rounds except for one. This was the last one. <laughs> oh, hi, Terry from Georgia. Uh, thank you so much for watching. I'm so glad everyone's here. Uh, so they, the, my Home Depot only had one left, and it was the 23 and a half inch <laughs> wide. So um, the one that I made previously is 15 inches and this was perfect for my front door I've had this hanging up on my front door and it looks absolutely gorgeous and I love it so 15 inches um, I know there's an 18 inch wood round um, that I think would look good on the front door but the 23 and a half inch is just a little big for my front door <laughs> but it was the only one they had left um, so Let's see if I can get all of it in here. It was the only one I had, only one Home Depot had left. So um, I am going to put this um, inside. I've got a large blank wall in my house that uh, I think this will fill the space nicely. Hi, Julie. Thanks so much for watching. She's from the UK. Awesome. All right. So this one, um, here's the Glad Tidings. This design comes from the wood or the round wood sign bundle um, I have linked in the description and this was painted um, with um, a stencil. So I cut the design in um, Aura Mask 813 stencil material, um, which I love. This is an awesome stencil, stencil material. Absolutely um, a wonderful product and uh, used this um, folk art home decor chalk paint to um, paint in the the rest of it. Um, and then the stain that I used is, um, it's called Unicorn Spit. <laughs> um, and the color is Squirrel. Um, and then I used the white too. With just the foam brush and put that in there. Um, so that is this side. And then, on the other side, I am just going to, I just stained it um, with that unicorn spit squirrel color. Um, and then I'll put, I think, Home Sweet Home or um, I don't know, there, there was a couple of like year round type style uh, designs and SVGs in that wood, uh, the round wood sign bundle so um, I haven't decided exactly um, exactly yet what I want to put on here um, if you have um, a recommendation um, then I love it I thought I was thinking home sweet home but I don't know um, anyway so to be able to hang it up so that it's double-sided like this I mean this one obviously we put or I put the hanging me mechanism right in the back um, so to be able to hang this double-sided, I did um, eye screws on the top here, and then here, let's see if I can do this. There we go. Eye screws right on the top, 
and then um, just you know really attach um, a really strong rope there um, on the top so then you know you can hang it um, on one side and then when it's my favorite holiday on the other so um, as for the greenery for this one what I want to do is do some of this. And so um, at the craft store, you know, they have lots of different um, options for um, greenery. Um, and they usually come in these big, long um, fronds like this. I guess that's what you call them. Um, and so what I do is probably cut off the tag. <laughs> um, yeah on those and then push this over and I want it to kind of bend like this there's wire in this so I can get it to bend the way I want it to and then I can I see I've already trimmed this one but I think I want it something like that. So I am going to trim this one with just these cutters. Um, and it's a, a thick wire on these. So I kind of had to move it up and down to get it to break. And of course, if you have any questions, then please let us know. Um, we are happy to help. Um, and then take a look at our new bundle. This one was uh, a lot of fun to put together because there's just, there's so many things that you can do with these wood rounds that, uh, you know, that the bundle, I think it turned out really great. And then of course, if you purchase the bundle in September, um, then um, you get entered to win a TLP press from Swing Design too. So um, that is awesome as well. So, okay, so I've got the greenery. I like how it looks like that. And then what I like to do is I'll tape these together. Oh, hi, Iris. Thank you so much. She's from Michigan. Thank you. Um, so I'm going to tape these together. Like that. And because I'll put a bow on there, I'm not too concerned with the blue tape showing through. But you could always use um, maybe something that's clear or green or, you know, maybe go over this. Um, with something that's going to camouflage it a little bit more, but I'm okay with that because this is going to be high, um, hidden by the bow. Okay. That I think is actually pretty good. And then because this is wire, I can bend it so that it kind of hangs the way that I like I like it to be and then as for the bows um, you can always make your own and that's what I did with this one here I'm gonna take this one off um, and it took me many tries <laughs> to make it um, I know there are some really uh, exceptional bow makers out there 
So you know who I'm talking about. You know who you are. And you make some really beautiful bows. Um, so you can certainly make your own bows with a wired ribbon. Um, however, at the craft store, they do also have some that are pre-made. And um, this one was actually on clearance. So it was a great deal. And actually, I kind of like the red in there too. So because these are not permanently attached, um, I could put this red in, in here. Actually take this apart and put the red in there. What do you guys think? I think the red, yeah, that'll look, that'll look nice. Okay. So if you're just joining us, then welcome. I'm so glad you're here. We are having some fun with these wood round signs, um, which have been taking the craft world by storm. Oh my gosh, I've seen them everywhere. So many different, um, kinds and they're all they're so beautiful and so creative oh yeah that looks cool Ooh, i like that see um when you have it detachable like this then you can kind of mix and match Ooh, that's really cute i love it awesome okay so what i'm gonna do then is get my floral wire which i have here it just comes in like a a spool like this and then I'll put the, uh, these two together. And the, this I put together with floral tape. Um, and um, that, you know, it's camouflaged, you know, a little bit better than this one. But again, the bow's going to be covering that. So, you know, it should be fine. So I'm going to take the wire. This one I wrapped with a wire and then I'm going to wrap these two together. And then for the bow, the bow actually already has um, some wire attached to it. So I just have to take it out of its packaging. like that. There we go. Okay. And then what I can do is then just take the wire from the back of this and wrap it around this part here. that okay perfect then um, what I'm gonna do is then take the rest of that wire part actually might need a little bit more wire but I think do I want to do it sideways maybe I want to do it sideways yeah what do you think? Should I do it at the top like that? Or should I do it sideways like that? And I'll kind of curve it like that. See when you, uh, this is why I have bow commitment <laughs> phobia because I can never really, you know, commit to one because I think, you know, I, do I want it on the side? Do I want it? I think I want it on the side. I think that looks cool. And then that would still kind of be hidden like that. Yeah. I think because this is here, maybe go like that. I think that. Perfect. All right. So let's go ahead and I think I'll actually need some more of this wire because I'm going to attach it 
to these screws here. But I think I'll need more of this wire to do that. So let's actually just go ahead and pull, pull this off. And I'm gonna use my scissors. twist it onto the, these screws right here. Actually, I want it sideways. So let's put that there. And let's move this one to attach through this one. And then this one. attach through here. And then I can just do that. Okay, so then this needs to be unrolled. This is wire in here. So I really, really like that. Stand up like this. I'd need to make that a lot tighter. Yeah. Okay. Maybe I might do it on the top just because. Actually, I could probably. So, you know, you have to you have to fiddle around with it a little bit. But this floral wire is, um, you know, small enough that you could, um, you know, attach it. Yeah. I put a little bit there, and then maybe I could put some over on this side to get it to stay up. Oh yeah, that, there we go. Sorry, this is so big, I can't get it all in the frame, but I think I do like it off to the side like that. Um, but because it's not tied down, I could also do it in the middle. And then when it's not Christmas anymore, what I can do is then, here, let's just go ahead and cut it. So I can flip this to the other side. And then I could probably just take out this red one and then just use the green. And then just use the green here. Ooh, I love it. Oh my goodness, this is gonna be so cute. And I could probably put in a few more fronds too if I wanted to make it a little more full, but I think that actually looks pretty darn good. Um, so yeah, that's super cool. This is definitely gonna work um, with your double-sided sign to just do the eye screws in the top there with some rope and then you just uh, use some tape and floral wire to put your floral together and then 
use uh, use that floral wire to attach it to the top there and you've got then removable interchangeable greenery um, you've got double-sided sign um, and I'm really happy with that that's so cool awesome so um, of course if you make any of um, your own wood signs here I'm gonna flip this back so I can say hello or goodbye rather because that's all I had um, if you make any of your own wood signs please please share them with us um, because uh, they're just so beautiful and there's so much you can do that you know we love to see them um, so I've got the uh, uh, round wood sign bundle linked in the description um, as well as I'll put some links in for um, some of the supplies that I used and then um, that's all I had for today. So, of course, you know, if you have questions, please let us know. And um, we will see you next time. Thanks, guys. Bye.